There is nothing like an opening night with Liberace. It's like everything you imagined as a kid, a celebration in the old Broadway style, with searchlights and limousines and all the glamour. And after a fabulous performance at Radio City Music Hall, we were invited back to the most glamorous event of the night, Liberace's exclusive opening night party at Trump Towers on Fifth Avenue. This is Fifth Avenue, and behind me are the Trump Towers. That's a wonderful residential apartment building. We're waiting for the arrival of Liberace, aren't we? Yeah. Aren't you all waiting? All the stars came out this night, from the glamorous and glitzy to the simply outrageous, a mix you might expect from a Liberace party. In that stream of faces, I managed to find our old friend Dick Cavett on his way in. Or was it out? You look great. For my age, you're fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am. Why? I, I, well, I went through the hors d'oeuvres rather quickly and... You were the one who ate them all. ...used my, <laughs> you know, my squirting flower and my... You see the show? Yeah, I thought it was uh, the guy in the middle was great. The one, with the, the one with the piano. What do you think makes Liberace special? He's incredible. Uh, what? I don't know. Uh, perceiver of what people want to see or something. I mean, can you imagine if somebody told you years ago we're going to get a guy in a candlelap or a? M is, it, or is that is that singular? I'll look that up tonight. Stuff. And you know he'll bounce around stage, and he, but he's got a. A, a wonderful charisma. You know, I... I he comes from my era, you know. I mean, he's the... And I'm drawing a parallel mentally. He's the Mick Jagger of the Ice Age. <laughs> and finally, the man himself. Fabulous. Thank you. I would have matched your first outfit. You oh, you're beautiful. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Once inside, we found ourselves surrounded with a setting that was nothing short of astounding. The only thing to compare with this larger than life setting was, well, some of the larger than life guests. Why weren't you on stage? Well, I don't know I don't know Lee that well. I know him and he's he's one of my new friends in life, but I wasn't invited. Oh! We can't upstage him. It's his show. You can upstage them. You know you are the center of attraction here tonight. We are? Well, do we you know why? Tell us. Well, I think it's probably the new do's I'm looking at. Yeah. You, yeah. Well, let's, let's give our hairdresser another big tip. What do you think about that, Joey? Yeah, I think so. He's it's the best. Only in New York, right? And mingling among the Manhattanites, who did I bump into but two of our very own New England-born Rockettes? <gasps> All right, Boston, do you wonder where New England women end up? Well, me too, who ended up with the Rockettes. Boy, are you guys talented. Eileen Collins is from Salem, and uh, Pam Kelleher is from Everett. Mm -hmm. And we just met in the ladies' room. <laughs> Should we tell the truth? <laughs> it's true. She tried to steal my stall, and I threw her out. And I recognized the Boston accent. Uh, all right, you have stories to tell. How did you get here? How about you? Well, I came to New York 13 years ago. I went to college in Boston. I'm from Salem, New Hampshire. My family has uh, uh, grown up in New England, and... Uh, I knew you from the ambassador from the Rockettes who said, this woman in Boston will never dance. <laughs> but a wonderful interviewer, and, and we met, and it was, I said, oh, let's do it. Right, what is it like being a Rockette? I mean, really, for a woman, is it, is it a, a good life if you want the business? Very exciting. Not Why? like any other dancing job. Why? It's a very uh, close-knit group. It's like one big family. The girls get along very well. There's no competition. And, you mean and this is not a step toward uh, a chorus line or something where you're more featured? This is what you want forever? Yeah. Why, though? Because there's no job like it. Yeah. Do you agree, Eileen? Yes, I, I think that this is a type of job that the camaraderie and the, the esprit de corps and the working day, you know, we opened tonight, we had a candelabras in our little pink skirts, and we were hysterical, and we're all going, oh, don't laugh, don't laugh. And, we're, and then Diamond Number is a much more serious, very rockette, very difficult uh, athletic type number. And the New York, New York is a tap, uh, buck and wing type number. So each number has a different feeling, a different aura, and what our job is to do is to try to be the best at precision work yeah. with 36 women in line. How can you have a personal life when you work every single night? We don't. That's why I met you in the ladies' oh. room. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a personal life, right? It's I very felt 
<laughs> See, you're not going to eat it when you break your head like that. Uh, it's it's very difficult because we do work a, a lot of long hours. Yeah. But um, we, we're with our friends tonight, and I'm going to get all my friends from you're the dying for your family. Line. Well, let's get your and mom and dad in here, and your brother. And by the way, we do manage a personal life. I've been married for almost two years, and have a three-month-old son. Did you dance while you were pregnant? Yeah. Yes. You did. Yes, six months. Well, you're one in a million. That is great. <laughs> Mr. Collins, yes. how are you? Very good. Thank good. You. And your wife? Uh, These are Eileen's parents. My wife, Betty, yeah. Betty. And what's your first name? Al. Al. And you yeah. now live in Salem, New Hampshire, right? Yes, we do. You're yeah. going to say hello to all of them. I would say hello to everybody back there in Salem, yes. Are you yeah. proud of your daughter? Oh, I certainly am. Yeah. What did you think tonight, opening night for Liberace? It was fantastic. It was really great. Did you ever take your eyes off of her? No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> and your brother's here. Steve? Steve Kelleher. You were a choreographer for the Rockettes. I was a choreographer there for four years. Now, and I, I just manager. Right, I asked Pam if, if everything changes with the choreography, and uh, and Pam said it's pretty consistent. Is that true? Yes. They want a certain look, and the look has not changed over the years. You both want to say hi to Everett? Yeah, most definitely. Hi, Ma. Hi, Ma. <laughs> hi, Dean and Matt and Kelly and everybody. Now, did you say we're going to get the line in here? Yeah, come on, girls. Let's get Boston to kick line. <laughs> wouldn't be complete until I made my way to the man who sat at the center of all of this attention. The focus for this incredible celebration was Liberace himself. For those who've never seen Liberace and maybe have an opportunity from New England to come down to Radio City and they shouldn't miss it, um, what would you want them to know about you if they've never seen you? Well, I hope that uh, I can make them happier when they leave than when they came in. If I can do that and I'm not wasting my time. And you have brought young artists to the forefront. Uh, is that a part of the giving back? Yes, I think so. I like to encourage young talent. And uh, young people have to carry on the tradition of show business. You know that Gary is behind us, and he is from Boston. Yes. Could I bring him in, Lee? Is that possible? Hey, Gary? Gary, come on over. Now, Gary's one of my protégés. All right, let me make sure that you two are in the shot. Here we go. All right. Um, Hi, Gary. Oh, thank you, Gary. Well, I get a true sense, though, that you don't just look for talent. You look for nice people. Well, all the people that surround me are nice. Yeah. I don't have any phonies around me. They're all real people. Well, it's really in this business, I think it's very rare and very special to know that um, that nice people are those who have longevity. And I, and I really feel that. I think everyone does from you. Well, thank you. I think I have a, a lot of good years left when I compare myself to the Bob Hopes and the George Burnses and the Cary Grants who are doing so great, you know, at their age. They're, they're not slowing down at all. And I feel with all their energy at their age, I hope I have the same when I uh, reach that marvelous age that they are. Of 30. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, darling. Very much. And you are dressed beautifully, by the way. Thank you. You honor me by wearing such beautiful outfits. I had to wear shimmer for you. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Thanks.